Well, I want to say this about uh, Corpus. Uh, Will is a good friend of mine, boy's an outstanding coach, and uh, does a great job. He's had some people injured. He's getting them back, you know, healthy. Uh, I thought Beverly had a heck of a game. He knew he could shoot the ball so well. He played with great confidence. And then Jordan, he just he does a great job of controlling the, the game. I thought he was uh, terrific uh, driving the ball, and uh, he had six assists. And then you know, Williamson had they had three guys in uh, double figures, so uh, he really did a good job. Having said that, uh, you know there were some you know, adverse situations that we needed to respond to. We didn't play well uh, at all against uh, Tech and New York. We played hard against uh, uh, Stanford, and then uh, we certainly had uh, a hangover against Tech and uh, did not play well at all. And so I was concerned. We had two, two good practices uh, since we got back, uh, but I was concerned about this game. Uh, you know, not having Daniel in the uh, uniform, how we were going to respond uh, to that. And then uh, you know, we've got to have some guys uh, tuned in throughout the day and uh, make sure we don't have any uh, distractions. That's where your seniors come up and get focused uh, uh, on the game. But uh, I thought they did a nice job. And uh, you know, we weren't very efficient uh, in the first half. Got down, didn't have a lot of uh, energy. We finally got it going with the defense. Uh, second half, uh, we were a lot better offensively. I thought. Some of the guys off the bench uh, really helped us. I thought Dan Rad came in and did a terrific job off the bench. I thought Ron Barnes came in, uh, really played well. I thought Jerron Simmons had a big play in transition when he uh, had the three-point play. Uh, obviously, uh, Dan Rad got a dunk that gave us uh, some momentum, gave us up, got us up ten. I thought Big JJ gave us some quality minutes off the bench, and so uh, that's that's what we need. Uh, we, we're uh, that's one of our strengths is numbers, and guys got to be ready to play. The big thing, obviously, uh, at this point we got out rebounded. Uh, we challenged some guys because Daniels on our second lead rebounder. Tayshawn, if you told me before the game he was only going to get four rebounds, I probably wouldn't have done that. Uh, but we had uh, you know three other guys that get five, and we hadn't had that happen. Uh, big Jay gets three, but you know, that is disappointing to get out rebounded. But I'm glad we got the free throw line 29 times, and. Uh, uh, you know, we shot pretty close uh, to 80 percent, which we'd like to uh, to shoot, and uh, it's pleased we got the free throw line. Quite the place. Coach, when they didn't have a uh, house on every day, how did the team react to that? Was there, you know, well, uh, you know, you, first of all, you, uh, you're disappointed for him that he's not in uniform. Secondly, uh, when somebody's not having a good game or somebody's uh, not injured, then uh, other people got to have opportunity. That's why they call a team. Somebody else got to step in there. Uh, not sure that we handled it as well as I would like for us to, uh, to handle it. Uh, we, we've got to be more assertive. And I'm not talking about offensively. We've got to be more assertive defensively on the boards, taking care of the basketball, uh, playing extremely hard. And those are the things that we talk about. Guys, never that hey, you got to you got to go and score for us tonight. The opportunities would come. I thought we had, a, even though we got the line 29 times, I thought we had a lot more opportunities to drive the ball. And we only shot 11 threes, and we ended up scoring, you know, 78 points when we made three threes. So uh, I hope this is uh, our guys will take heed to that. That uh, you don't have to just stand out on the perimeter and shoot threes. You can drive, get to the basket, finish, transition, get the free throw line. Coach, talk about the uh, production you got from Tion. Tion uh, is. Uh, you know, he's, a, he's like a starter, and uh, boy, he's playing really good really well uh, for us. Uh, thought he made some terrific passes. You know, if you look at his stat line, he has 10 points, he has six assists, no turnovers, and uh, he's playing really, really good for us. And uh, that's what you expect out of a senior point guard. I thought he made the difference in our team down the stretch last year, and. Uh, Thought he played uh, well against uh, Stanford, and he's a guy that comes to work every day. And uh, his biggest—he's a wonderful young man. But his biggest quality is he's got a motor. He's got a high-level motor, and that's important. Coach, about five foot one mark in the second half. You said something else, Jay. Is he walking out of court? And then uh, Martin said there's two free throws. You said he came over and you talked to him. What was—is was there a problem with what he was doing? Or just five? In his position? Or? Oh, oh, five minutes to go yes, sir. Uh, in the game. Uh, I, I, I'm not sure, but I think it had to do. Oh, I know what it was. Um, 
we had the uh, the ball in the half court, and uh, we were trying to run some clock, and we were going to run a ball screen play for me. Got a five second count, and I was just saying, uh, you got to have a clock in your head. I got to make sure that we get uh, Dan Rabbit's on the wrong side. I was trying to get him away, and uh, so I was just telling him I had a lot of confidence. But I expect him to have that clock in his head, and not be a five second call. Like that. There was that one call where you said it was two shots and they were going one and one. Well, uh, I think the official book was right, and that's what the officials had to go with. But somehow between the clock and the official book, they had ten up there. Right. So we always look. But in our records on the bench, we had nine. The official book had nine. Ron got the first one, missed the second one, which I really wanted us to, you know, you put that thing uh, to where you've got, uh, you know, a four possession game, uh, not just be at nine, be at ten. So I wanted to have their big free throws. Uh, but that's what happened. The official book was right. We were right on the bench. We had nine. We just had them on the scoreboard team. That's what I was. That's what I was going by until I checked with our bench and also. Uh, the official score. That's what we do. That's what the officials have to go with. Were you were you satisfied to see Stiggers take more twos than he did tonight? He was more aggressive. Well, yes. I'd like, but I'd like him to finish better. I thought in the first half he had two really good drives. One on the left side where he kind of yo-yoed. He just got to go in and power it up, and he go from the right side. And he had a bad angle right there. We we talked to him about those two plays. But in answer to your question, yes. And, uh, you know, let's see what he did from the uh, free throw line. They only got there twice. The more he drives, the more he's going to get the free throw line and he hit free throws. And, uh, you know, he hit a three when he came back in a seven point game, put us up in double digits. I told him after, wasn't sure that was a good shot because he'd been sitting on the bench ball the first time he touched the ball. Uh, but he did make it. And then he had one out there late in the shot clock, which was uh, really, I wanted him to drive it, but there was five seconds on the clock and he was wide open right there. But I want him to drive it. Uh, what I, I want him to know that there's more to his game than just a three-point shoot. That's what we're trying to convince him because he's got a lot of other ways he can help his team win. Anything else? Yeah. Thank All you. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.